Let's face it, big AAA gaming studios are struggling. And if you want to be a full-time indie game developer, there has never been a better time to start than now. Welcome to the channel. I'm Brian and I'm a full-time indie game developer. And my goal is to take you from an aspiring game developer to a game developer that has some success of their own. You may not know this yet, but the indie game rush is coming. Let me explain why. For like the past 10 years, AAA studios have made the same exact game over over and over and over, just slightly better graphics and like one or two more features each time. There hasn't actually been a truly new concept that's come out in a very long time. Just think about it, when was the last time that you know of that something actually new came out of a studio that isn't one of their past games just repurposed into a different time period or environment? Not only that, AAAs are taking forever to make their games now. Starfield took 8 years, Cyberpunk took 7 years, and when Elder Scrolls 6 was announced, I I was still in school, that was over six years ago. Because AAAs are such big companies, AAAs take forever to even make just a simple game because all the poor developers have to navigate around the mountains of pre-existing code from the last 20 years. Code that's been changed time and time again by years and years of new game developers. This makes the development process of these studios extremely slow. Not only that, but AAA studios can't even afford to take risks anymore. The projects they undertake are way too big and making one bad game could fret the existence of their entire company. And despite all of this, when a AAA game finally does come out, it often doesn't even live up to expectations. They're almost stuck in a loop because the expectations from their games are so high that they can't help but spend years making one. All of these problems that AAA studios have means that now is the best time to act and make your own game. Many indie developers and people that want to start making games haven't actually realised this and many people are still stuck in the oversaturation mindset and think that there's so many new games coming out that there's no chance that they could succeed. But literally the opposite is true. Think about it, how many gamers are in the world? There's tons of them. Most people that play games don't just play one game, they probably have 20 or 30 games in their rotation. And I'm definitely pulling this statistic out of my ass, but gamers most likely outnumber game developers a thousand to one. Those two things combined means there's a ton of people out there that could be interested in your game. And to relate it back to me a bit, it's incredibly easy to make it as a game development YouTuber, but think about just how hard it is to make it as a gaming YouTuber. So many people are making gaming channels that just don't take off, but every time a new game developer makes a video about their game, that video is almost guaranteed to at least get a few hundred views on their first video. Back when I made content on other things, it took months just to get a hundred views on a video. And because there's such a shortage of game development YouTubers, so many ideas haven't been tried yet. All the gaming YouTubers can't really do those ideas, like, take my games, Balloons But You're The Balloon, the mod you'd have to make for that would require coding knowledge anyway, so it's just not feasible for gaming YouTubers to make videos on things like that. But you, as a game developer, can make anything that you want happen, which gives you a massive advantage. If anyone else wants to make their crazy idea come true, they'd have to hire an expensive programmer to do it for them, and even then they don't know if their idea will do well. You have the luxury of just trying it out and seeing if it works. When I first started YouTube, I was making videos on the gym and computer science, but because there's so many people making videos on those topics already, they didn't do very well. As soon as I uploaded my first ever game development video, that video got 100,000 views within a few months. I know you personally might not want to become a YouTuber, but you should definitely at least consider it because it's a great way to promote yourself. And you may be thinking that it's going to be hard and it's going to take a lot of work and then it might not even do well in the end. But this isn't true either. All you have to do, really, is to try. I spoke about this at length in my last video, but Steam statistics are very favourable for game developers as long as you have a plan. 30% of Steam games make over $10,000 and 8.5% of Steam games make over $250,000. Not only that, but you as a solo game developer don't have any of the drawbacks that AAA studios do. You can make games much quicker than them. 
it doesn't have to take you five years to make something. And that's because you're starting from scratch, which you may not think it, but it's actually an advantage. There's nothing that will hold you down when adding stuff. No spaghetti code from previous developers, no rules you have to stick to. You have the luxury of just thinking of something and adding it. You can also afford to take risks and make something really unique. Remember, you have no expectations that you have to live up to. You can think of something absolutely ridiculous. For example, I saw this trailer for a killer bean game the other day. It was a meme that was really big a few years ago and now the guy that made it is making a game. There's probably one person or a small team working on that game, which means the risk is really low. Putting yourself out there and thinking of some crazy idea makes getting attention really easy for you. So how do you actually take advantage of this opportunity? Well, first of all, you have to stop believing in all the bullshit that you've been telling yourself. You definitely have some limiting beliefs. You might not even realize that they're actually limiting beliefs because they're so ingrained in your mind. And I guarantee that I had some, if not all of the same limiting beliefs that you have right now in the past. It's normal for people to experience fear when doing something new and I'm sure that every developer experiences this. Fear will always happen when trying something new. I still feel fear all the time. Starting this channel, for example, and showing my face a lot more made me a bit nervous at first. When I started my first channel, I feared what people would think of my videos, but no one even watched them. Now, every time I post a video to my main channel, 100,000 people see that. It's always going to be scary. There will be a lot of eyes on you, but you just have to go ahead with it regardless. Everything that you want is on the other side of fear. Pushing through fear makes you grow a lot faster than you otherwise would. After this, and it sounds ridiculously obvious, but you need to put a plan in place. Have some intent with the game you're going to make. Have a target audience for it. Have a plan to actually market your game. Are you going to make a YouTube channel? Are you going to crowdfund it? Are you going to post on Reddit? Personally, I've always watched YouTube and didn't really care about all the other social medias, so I just opted to use that. But you can do anything you want. And seriously, map out the features you're going to add instead of just going in blind. A lot of people go in and do it half fast and they don't truly believe in their head that they're going to finish the game, so they don't even plan it properly. And you already know that game developers love to go off track and get carried away a lot, which means that games that should take six months end up taking two years to make. You want to go full time in like, I don't know, less than a year, right? Then you have to plan for that and you have to release your game within a year. You also need to build a work ethic. People are very used to being told what to do by a school teacher or a boss at work. And this takes quite a bit of time to develop. When I first started, I got distracted a lot and I still get distracted very often. Sometimes I find myself just literally, I'm not even thinking about it. I just click on my search bar and search YouTube and start watching some random video. It's like my brain takes over and I, I literally don't even know what's happening until 10 minutes later. 99% of people get distracted really often when they work. If you build your way up and manage to not be one of those people, you will be ahead of those people in no time. It's also really important to cut down on games, TV shows, and other time-wasting activities. They're not only wasting your time, but they're also fucking up your dopamine receptors, which makes dopamine the chemical responsible for happiness and motivation to go down. And I know this feeling very well. I don't know if you're like me, but I used to play games for 12 to 16 hours a day. The only reason I would stop is because I was too tired to carry on playing or because my mum told me to stop. You might not even realize you have an addiction, but if you play more than a couple hours per day, you probably do. Playing this much or watching that much TV doesn't even make it fun anymore. The only reason you still do these things is to get rid of that empty feeling that appears when you don't do them. That empty feeling eventually goes away if you just stop doing that thing for a while. And once your dopamine goes back to normal, you'll actually be properly happy again and won't need games or anything else for it. And to top it off, you'll be a lot more motivated to do your work. You'd be a lot happier without those things than you are with them. So stop for a few weeks and then properly moderate yourself after your dopamine levels recover. And once all that's done, all all you have to do is just work hard for a few months. You need to realize that it will take months to get anywhere with this. It's not like a job where you go in and you start getting paid straight away. It's almost like a rite of passage to being able to make money from this stuff. The people that come out of it come out with a much better character and work ethic. It took me about six to seven months to start making money and four of those bumps, there was literally no sign of life from anyone. I was just putting stuff out 
over and over and over, doing a ton of work and getting nothing in return. It was extremely annoying, but realize that this is normal and everyone goes through this that eventually ends up successful. And you have to be okay with that. If you want more videos on how to succeed as a game developer, consider subscribing. See you next video.